Hi everyone, uh, so I'm just going to demonstrate how we're going to be using the Office Lens app to take pictures of our work. We're going to save it as a PDF on OneDrive, be able to be on computer, download this PDF down, and then you can actually uh, submit it on Teams uh, as an assignment. So if you want to just open up the Office Lens app here, it'll just pull up your camera. Uh, basically what you want to do here is imagine I have my sample work in front of you here. You want to make sure the camera here takes a nice picture of your work. You'll notice what Office Lens tries to do with this red box skipping around here is even if I'm off at some angle, it's trying to figure out uh, what angle captures your picture the best. So in this case here, I uh, take a picture of my work here. I'm going to click um, just uh, OK there for to snap a picture. Uh, I can crop this picture here. No, I want more picture or not as much picture here. I can click Done there to crop the image. In this case here, it's taking that sample work here. Instead of clicking the done in the lower right corner, uh, maybe uh, my test here was actually two or three pages long, I'm gonna actually click the bottom left button, this add new. By clicking add new, it pulls up your camera again. I can actually flip over to the next page here. Again, make sure you have a nice picture of your work here. Snap a shot. It's gonna show me uh, what it's recorded. Oh, that's actually not what I wanted here. I may wanna pull it upwards or I might wanna even retake that one. Let's say I'm actually satisfied with that there. I'm gonna click done. And then, so there's our scanned work here. Again, I'm going to show Add New. Uh, again, what Office Lens is trying to do is it's trying to take it from some oblique angle. It's trying to capture your work the best it can. So in this case here, let's say this is my last page of work. I'm going to just snap that shot there. So there we go. Uh, that's a nice picture there. I'm going to click Done. You're going to take a picture of all the work that you do. Now that I'm completely done, I can actually hit the lower right-hand corner with Done. Now it actually pulls up a couple options of where do I want to export it to. Uh, if you do use OneNote here, you can export it to OneNote uh, uh, by pressing that button there. If you press the OneDrive button, it will actually upload it to OneDrive where I want it to go. However, it's uploaded right now here as a picture JPEG file. What I want you to click here is I actually want you to click the PDF button. This way it'll convert the picture to PDF. I don't need it on phone storage here. I'm just going to click it over to OneDrive instead. In this case here, we would then transfer my work over. Uh, may take a couple minutes or so. Once this is sort of recorded that has been transferred, uh, we can actually check uh, later on on OneDrive uh, and I'll show you how you can access it there. So there we go, it looks like it's went through. I can actually close this one here. Uh, I can close my Office Lens app here. If you do have the off, uh, OneDrive app on your phone, you can actually access it here. It may ask you to first log in. I'll show you that on computer later on. Uh, this one here is my OneDrive folder. It should have created a folder called Office Lens. When you click open the Office Lens here, it should show you all the files uh, that you have. So say you were on computer, I would just download that file down. It is already a PDF with all three pages uh, together. I think if I click open there, you can actually see the three pictures. Again, you'll notice uh, the second picture wasn't as good. I might want to actually retake that one there. But this way here, you can actually download the PDF, uh, and I'll show you uh, later on how you can um, download it down and then submit it as a Teams assignment. Thanks, guys. Okay, so after you've taken pictures here on OneDrive, uh, I'm on my computer here. You can open up any browser. Um, just on Google here, you can just Google here Office 365. Uh, let's try to find uh, the login page here. If it's your first time logging in, it'll ask you for all your sign-in information. So either click sign in or you can just uh, sign in in the top right corner there. I'm going to click sign in here. Make sure when you are signing in, you are using your at suryschools.ca uh, credentials. Uh, hopefully you still remember the password for there. Uh, it might ask you to log in a couple times. Uh, let's just see what it brings up here. So there we go. If it's your first time logging in, it might say, do you want to actually reduce the number of times? Totally up to you. If you want to type in your password every time, you can. Uh, for me, I just want to stay signed in. That's fine. So this has pulled up my Office 365 here. Here's where you can access all your different apps here. We have the online Word, online Excel, and all that. This time, what I want to do is I want to just access our off uh, Office OneDrive. So you just click open there. If you have the OneDrive app, you can definitely access it from there as well. Make sure it is the OneDrive for Business app. So just like you saw on my phone, uh, this is uh, basically the folders that I have currently on my OneDrive folder. It has created Office Lens folder. If you haven't uh, had one from before, if you click open there, it'll actually show you uh, that uh, PDF that we had just saved. So there we go. Uh, you can open it up here if you want to just take a look at what's inside. So my sample work here, because I click the Add New button instead of clicking Done, you see that all three uh, PDFs actually show up in one file. 
now at this point here, I'll just download it down. It'll be saved down to your computer. And then when I'm actually on Teams, I can just upload this uh, file directly, uh, submit it, uh, turn it in uh, before the deadline. Thanks, guys.